Now we're going to find the position of a percentile. So in this case, I'm interested in which dog is in the 35th percentile. But again, we're finding the location, the position of it. We'll have to take an extra step to actually get whatever dog weight that is, if that's what we're interested in. So we start by taking the percent we're looking for. Keep in mind, don't change that to a decimal. Leave it as is. So if you want the 35th percentile, just use the number 35. Multiply by the count of items and divide by 100. So again, this only gives us the location. And really important, it needs to be an ordered list but it's not the answer we're gonna give. It tells us where the answer we want is located. So in this first case, we're gonna do where the location we're told to go to is not a whole number. In that case, we have to take the location we're told to go to and bump up to the next whole number. And I like to use the phrase bump instead of round because some numbers don't round up, but we always need to go up. So I like to use the phrase bump. So imagine this problem, we're asked to find P40 from an already ordered list, which is good for us, otherwise we would have had to order it. So imagine these are a bunch of test scores and we wanna know where is the 40th percentile? Like any student who got 40% or less of that group, not a score, but 40% of the bottom 40% of this group, maybe we wanna send them an intervention letter. So the first thing we do is go to the formula. And the formula says for, to find the location, we take 40, because we want the 40th percentile, times seven, which there were seven numbers in the list, divide by 100 and we get 2.8. So then what happens is because 2.8 is a decimal number, then we go ahead and bump up. Now in this case, it would have also rounded up, but it's always best to bump. So 2.8 bumps up to the number three, that means we need to take the third item from the list. So we go up to the list, one, two, three, and that tells us that 75 is the answer for this problem. So now, whoops, I'm just highlighting something we already talked about, the bump up, sorry. So now we wanna do question B. So for question B, we're asked to find P62. That means I take the 62, multiply by seven, because we said there's seven numbers in the list, divide by 100, because that kind of undoes your percentage, and we get 4.34. So I'm supposed to go to the 4.34th number. There's no such thing. There's a fourth number and a fifth number. So again, not rounding, but bumping up, I'm gonna take the next whole number, which would be the fifth number. So I'm going past the fourth number and just to the next number I can find, or in this case, the fifth entry. So I come over here to one, two, three, four, five numbers in the list. And so that's telling me that 83 is gonna be my answer. So the last one to solve is what if I was asked to find the 11th percentile? So in the last two, we were asked to find P40, then P62, but you can ask the question the same way. I mean, P11 is the same thing as the 11th percentile, but we can solve it by asking, being asked to find the 11th percentile. So let me have you solve that 